Well, if you thought last month's load shedding was a random occurrence, think again. ESCOM is warning of more power outages in the weeks ahead. CEO Andre Dereta was speaking to the Cape Town Press Club today. Lindsay Dentlinger was there. She joins us now live for more. So, Lindsay, why the need for rolling blackouts? Shahan, the narrative doesn't change. ESCOM still struggling to get on top of its maintenance, uh, saying after years of neglect, uh, it just has to keep on uh, doing maintenance, and unfortunately that leads to load shedding. You'll remember in May, under De Reta was before Parliament, a little bit excited that during the lockdown, uh, the company was able to do a much-needed maintenance with demand far less during the lockdown and promising only three days of load shedding uh, during the winter. And now we know that was seven days uh, in July. And speaking to the Cape Town Press Club again today, he says this is not the end of it. Uh, let's take a listen to those reasons he offered uh, for why we can expect load shedding again in the coming weeks. It's um, likely that we will have uh, increased uh, load shedding going forward. I think that there is a risk of load shedding always in the system, given the lack of predictability, the lack of reliability due to maintenance that was not done. This risk will over time diminish as we carry out uh, the midlife refurbishments. I feel like I've been asking this question for years. How far is the company in its turnaround and recovery plan? Well, Andrew Durate is saying he's taken note of uh, some public opinion expressed in the media that it's taking rather long to unbundle the company. Uh, but he says they are firmly on track and uh, it is imperative that the company needs to uh, relook at the way it operates. The business operating model is just too old, too outdated, decades old. Uh, and in fact, he says uh, there are plans afoot to even speed up uh, this process, this recovery um, uh, process and plan. Uh, but one thing... Uh, they're just not getting on top of is the maintenance. We know that uh, plants are well past their sell-by date, uh, and so they need a, a little bit more extra care uh, in maintaining. And for that reason, Andre Dereta says load shedding is here to stay. There is going to be an increased risk of load shedding because we have to take down these units in order to, to perform the maintenance. If we do not take down the units and do the maintenance, the risk of significantly worse load shedding is simply going to increase. So we've come at a point where the decision now is we have to take down the units and do the load shedding. We, we simply don't have alternatives. And here we go again. ESCOM also trying to deal with corruption. Any update on that? Well, we know this uh, summonses were issued to 12 um, former executives, board members, and of course those elusive Gupta brothers to recover some 3.8 billion rand uh, that uh, ESCOM says was looted from it over the years. I put it to Andre Dereta uh, whether this was really realistic to think that the company could recoup any of this money. Uh, and he told the Cape Town Press Club that uh, the, he was working with the asset forf forfeiture unit um, to issue anti-dissipation orders. Shahan those are uh, orders trying to prevent those implicated in spending uh, the money that is believed to be ill-gotten gains. Um, but he was quite frank that they, he didn't think they would get all the money back, but still believes uh, that there is a pretty strong case. Uh, this was his response to my question. Will we be able to reclaim or recover all of the three billion? Uh, probably not. Um, I suspect a, a significant amount of money has already been spent. But on the other hand, uh, can we afford to sit back as South Africans and say, it's okay, we are going to let you walk away with the money because we don't want to spend money on lawyers. Uh, I think there's also a matter of principle at stake here that we have to pursue. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm quite confident based on advice that we received from our lawyers that, that we've got a good case in a strong case. Lindsay Dentlinger is in Cape Town.